the NASCOM Game Developers Conference and we are talking to yet another young person who's into making some pretty cool games. Yes, we've got with us uh, Arvind Raja Yadav of Pyrodactyl Games. Uh, and Arvind hails from Jaipur. Arvind, yeah. this, is, this is quite surprising because we've mm -hmm. met developers from Bombay, from Delhi, from mm -hmm. Bangalore, yeah. Jaipur. So there's, there's a scene, there's a game development scene there as well? Uh, like, I don't actually know if there's a scene. Like, it's mm -hmm. usually it's just been me developing games. But like the an advantage of what I do is that it mo it's mostly done online. So it doesn't matter if you're in Jaipur, if you are in Gujarat, or if you're in whatever. Mm -hmm. That doesn't so, matter. So typically things like exposure and trying to meet mm -hmm. people from the industry, you're saying that perhaps is not that critical. Uh, uh, it's it's all about yeah. creativity. I would say it's one part of the process. Like mm -hmm. the process which we focus on more is like gaining fans, like getting people to play our game mm -hmm. online, doing like interacting in forums and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that part can be easily done from like. Mm -hmm. Mumbai or Jaipur mm -hmm. doesn't really matter. Okay, the name of your company has been pretty interesting, Pyrodactyl. Yeah, yeah. So tell me how you came up with the name. Pyro yeah. typically means related to fire. Yeah, and yeah. like it was like pterodactyl, so it's a sort of word play on, it's like pterodactyl, but mm -hmm. instead of tero, it's fire. So. Okay, okay, okay. So like, now, how, <laughs> how long have you been making games and what uh, kind of games do you make? I've been making games since college. It's been like six and a half years so far. And I develop uh, role playing games for the PC, Mac and Linux platforms. So you make games for the PC, which is interesting, yeah. you know, we've met lots of people who are very big on mobile games mm -hmm. and then, of course, there are people who are trying to develop, uh, you know, uh, games for consoles mm -hmm. as well. Uh, mm -hmm. How is the PC doing for the gaming industry right now with tablets think, and smartphones yeah. and this onslaught? Yeah, I think PC is a relative uh, constant in the industry. Like, there's usual waves of, like, right now there's a big free-to-play mobile game kind of wave going along and then there was, like, in 2005, there was all, like, consoles are the next thing. So yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, like I, I consider PC to be a relatively like a platform that's more open to different design experiences. Mm -hmm. like, there's a certain uh, expectation that comes with making games. Let's say, for example, a freemium game on mobile. So there's a certain set of design elements which need to be there. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, like angel investors get angry and stuff like that. So. <laughs> okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. but you're, you're not worried that the PC might be kind mm -hmm. of, you know, might be outstripping its uh, utility as a, as a game platform. Uh, like people have been saying that the PC is dying since 1992. <laughs> it hasn't, it isn't dead yet. So, I'll, mm -hmm. so I'm not okay. worried. Okay, you mentioned <laughs> angel investors. So give us some yeah. uh, interesting anecdotes. Uh, how did you go about raising the money, getting the funds, getting people interested mm -hmm. in what you're doing? Yeah, like most of my angel, in, like in fact, all of my angel investor stories are uh, like, like ended up with no investment. It was just like PowerPoint presentations and the other guy was like, let's monetize this element. And I was like, sorry. Okay. That's actually why I moved to crowdfunding. Okay. And how, how did that work for you? Uh, yeah, crowdfunding was excellent. Like our Kickstarter gathered up like 1200% uh, of its intended goal. So that's like mm -hmm. 12 times the what we asked for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have a dedicated fan base. Like they are keen on playing on whatever we come up with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how, yeah. I prefer that approach instead of the whole pitching to VCs. And, and, and where do you find these investors, the crowd funders? Oh, like they are fans. Like okay. anyone can, anyone with a credit card in India, for example, can like back our, like could have backed our Kickstarter in August. Mm -hmm. So like all of these uh, people who backed us are fans. Mm -hmm. So they don't, so they don't care about like what kind of monetization strategy we use. They just care about the design and like what's the philosophy behind whatever we are making. So what is your money making strategy? Are, are you at all looking at the free to play wave or do you believe in paid for games only? No, I, uh, at the moment I uh, like, I'm a staunch believer in like premium games, like what people call premium games and like, as in like you pay a certain amount and I give you a copy of the game and that's it. Like after that you can like mod the game if you want, you can uh, like play it in unexpected ways. You can like try to uh, like do whatever. So right. it's like, hmm. You've paid for the game, it's your game. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, um, what what next for you? What are the kind of milestones or targets that you've set out? Yeah, well, currently uh, we are hoping for uh, re to release Unrest in early 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, that's and your new game. Yeah, that's a new game. Unrest. Yeah. Okay. It's set in ancient India, so it's like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me, uh, you release these games and you mentioned ancient India, but they're yeah. for a global audience, yeah. correct? Yeah. Uh, how is the response, and I mean, how does mm. a India-centered game kind of do mm. in the international yeah, it, market? It, it received a pretty phenomenal response. Like people. Uh, like the usual setting that comes with role playing games is a kind of dwarves, elves, very Tolkien esque, Lord of the Rings type. Mm. Uh, but this, this, many people considered this to be a breath of fresh air in terms of like what we were d offering and like what we, uh, what our design goals were. Mm. So I think that it shows that people don't just want the same things again and again, mm -hmm. but in slightly different skin. Instead, like I think there's a, 
like at least on the pc platform there is a uh, like this a lot of opportunity available for somebody who wants to pitch an unconventional uh, like gaming experience okay okay what are the biggest challenges for you as you go about your business mm, i would say the biggest challenge is uh, to uh, is to keep uh, to rein in the scope of our game like the kind of games we make they they allow you to uh, achieve your goals in multiple ways using different approaches so that kind of leads to a whole tree of uh, different uh, possible outcomes mm -hmm. and to rein that in is a huge task because uh, like we believe in giving our players the freedom to approach situations in the way they want but at the same time there needs to be a limit otherwise you, you will end up like uh, sort of uh, over scheduling and okay. missing your release okay. dates and that kind of stuff. Where do you see yourself uh, let's say two to three years from now do you even look at that time frame or do you just stay in the present? Uh, right now uh, I'm pretty much all focused on unrest I guess I'll just uh, make like keep in making games the way I am like mm -hmm. I at the moment I don't see a reason to change like because at the moment I'm pretty uh, like happy with where we are and like our fans and all so at the moment I'm pretty happy like but in the future <laughs> okay uh, would you be looking at other platforms mobile or perhaps consoles yeah I'm not averse point? to the idea of multiple platforms I guess it's the it needs to be easy to develop for and uh, console platforms are relatively easy to port from a PC but mobile platforms it's a little bit more uh, different because uh, the kind of games we make they are very uh, lore heavy there's a lot of story involved <coughs> so I'm not sure if like uh, like I'm not sure how to translate that experience faithfully to a mobile version. Okay. So okay. I so if 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 I manage to like get across that hurdle, maybe once the PC version is released, mm. I'll start working on the mobile version. Okay. Okay. Well, from the looks of it, you're pretty happy with the, what you do. You like yeah. your job. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks so much, Arvind. Good luck yeah. with your all all your plans and yeah, enjoy thanks. your time at the conference. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome.